super casual cold open to this video as I'm putting all my shoes on the floor because if you remember I do not have a working camera right now which kind of changes the vibes of the YouTube production however theoretically hopefully fingers crossed by the end of today that will be different it is Saturday morning and I'm headed into work I'm Anna if you're new hello I'm a social worker at a youth detention center and this is the weekend that I'm working. And I'm actually at my home facility this weekend, which is the first time that I've been to work a weekend there in about a month. So excited to see these boys. Saw them all yesterday, but you know, weekend vibes are definitely different. And there's a fun few, a fun few, a few fun things on the docket for today and a fun few things on the docket for tomorrow and the days upcoming. So we'll just kind of see how long this vlog lasts. I kind of feel like it's going to be pretty unedited vibes at least until I get the camera back because that's just what I'm feeling while sitting here on my floor talking to my phone do you see baby Yoda back there I don't know if I've ever shown him before he lives right there I feel like I never really showed this little desk that's in the entryway but yes unedited I think should we do unedited I really I should have decided this before I even turned on the camera today the phone I'm not gonna ahead of myself yeah let's do unedited welcome to an unedited Unedited couple days of work. Is it fall? I feel like that means it's fall. police escort just drove by with three limos so I might have been in the presence of celebrities but I don't really know because they were all dark I couldn't see inside which I think is probably kind of the point but good day at work today I was busy I was kind of exhausted but I was there five hours I think I think five hours and I was working the whole entire time I do think that my lens arrived today and so you'll only get unedited me for a little bit longer don't you worry but I did just stop by the library to return the scent of burnt flowers which I discussed in the last vlog so you can go look at that one to see about that book and then I just got a bajillion books I won't give like details about them all right now because we would be here literally all day and I'll be melted but I think I'm gonna read them in order from shortest to longest so I can get that satisfaction of finishing books we got oh I forgot <laughs> yeah I forgot I'm not editing I was just thinking in my head how to pronounce I think it's alias right my head I went Elias Elias alias Emma by Ava Glass I don't even remember what that's about the Riviera house by Natasha Lester I don't remember that's about either Prisoners of Geography, 10 maps that explain everything about the world. I think in my head, this was going to be like a picture book and it's not, but that's fine. Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. Maybe you heard of that one. The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. Spooky Vibes and Untangled, Guiding Teenage Girls Through the Seven Transitions into Adulthood. I don't know why I got that one. I honestly don't remember. Anyways, I'm gonna go pick up Zach because we're gonna go to walmart and then after those errands is whenever i'll unbox my lens and you can start getting edited vlogs again okay just got home from walmart i feel like it's a full day of work since it's 3 30 and i'm just now getting home and i'm still in work clothes but you know what this is <laughs> it's my new camera lens so if you didn't watch the last vlog which if you didn't this happened can you see it you can see it better like that you see how it's bent it's not supposed to be like that this tripod from here on out is staying at this level it's never getting higher than this because what happened was it was all the way high and then it did a little tip and it all landed yeah i'll come help you and bert's unedited what do you need my love you don't want to use a ziploc 
So this is the Canon EF-M 11 to 22 millimeter. I don't for real know what that means, but I'm pretty sure the 11 is the wide angle part. So it is going to look a little bit different because my camera is white, meaning the lens that comes with it is gray, but they didn't have a gray version of this guy. I hope it comes with like a lens cover and stuff. It's nice and bubble wrap. Isn't that amazing? How something like just this little can do so much. Okay, let me see how I can, I'll show you down here. Oh, sorry, that's my toe. So this is the current bendy lens and this is the one that comes with the camera. Oh, I forgot how to take it off for a second. I thought it was stuck and I was like, well, that's definitely a bummer. I'm gonna undo this guy. Ready? Wouldn't it stink if they like didn't fit together? There we go, it clicked. So it is bigger, like taller, longer, I guess that's the word. See. Let's try them out though. So the good news is that it definitely works. Check out that wide angle. I can't get away. Oh, it's even like big staring at it. How close does it get? So that's the thing is that it doesn't zoom in as much as the other one, but like I don't do anything zoomed in, so that's fine. Cause even this is, it's pretty good. Ow. See how wide it is? Like you can see the living room on that side and the room over there. It doesn't zoom in as much though. Like look, if I'm trying to go your cheesecake, that's as far as it goes. I have literally saved these unboxings for you for whenever we got the new camera lens in. This is so exciting. Look, look at how my hands get distorted at the end. <laughs> um, yes, so I saved these unboxings because if you watched the last vlog, this truly is like a part two. So if you didn't watch that one, just go get caught up and then come back here. You can come right back to this moment. That's okay. But I had mentioned that I had gotten some boxes that I wanted to unbox and I saved them for you for waiting for a new lens to come in. So the first one... You remember? If you remember a few months back, I was getting new protein and I decided to try Orgain protein and I got the chocolate flavor and I did end up really liking it. And so I got two new, two new proteins from them. They were having like a back to school sale. And so both of these together with shipping and tax and everything were $35, which feels really good. But I got two new flavors too, just to try them out. I still have a little bit of the chocolate left. But then I got their chocolate peanut butter because I thought maybe, maybe that'll be pretty good. And then I also got their iced coffee flavored, which does have 60 milligrams of caffeine. So it'll be for morning workouts and then just get a little pump up afterwards. Super excited to try both of those. Let me check the time before I need to leave for babysitting. We're okay right now. The second package that I got, I am also very excited for. And so... This is a service that I learned about recently, and as soon as I heard about it, I was like, yes, <laughs> sign me up. But if you've been around for a second, you've probably also heard me talk about how my skincare routine just is like very basic, and I never really try to achieve any goals. You know, I just do a little wash, moisturize, whatever, and I'm done. However, Haldi enters the chat. Haldi is a service, and this is not sponsored by them. I paid for this with my own money. Haldi is a free service where you put in like the products that you're using now, your skin goals, your skin type, like various things like that. And what I like is that they like they make you a free routine for your skincare, your skin type, your skin goals, all of that, but also like incorporate the products that you already have if they're not harmful, like if they're still doing you good, which I definitely appreciate because then it feels like, oh, okay, so you're actually making this routine because you want me to achieve my goals, not because like you're trying to get me to buy something. But if they do have any recommendations for like what to switch out or ingredients to try to avoid or that kind of thing, they'll tell you that too. 
too. So I both did my quiz and then I got my skincare routine probably, I think it was two days after that. And they have your own personal store so you can kind of scroll through and pick which of their recommended products you're going to get. Just because I'm balling with a budget right now, I did not get all of the things that they recommended, though I hope one day I can. And they are linked down below. It's my referral link, so like I said, I'm not sponsored. But, I mean, if you're going to go because I tell you to, you might as well tell them that you're going to go because I told you to. So, I did get a couple of things. Look, they sent... Oh, this is cute. So, they sent Anna's personal holiday routine, and you can see... Like, this face wash is the one that I already use. So they're like, yeah, sounds good. You can keep using that. They recommended an eye cream because I'm using one that, like, I just got for fun. I didn't, like, actually look into it. And then, like, that's the sunscreen that I already use. And then for nighttime, they recommended this face wash, an exfoliator, because that'll help with, like, dullness and unevenness. And then the eye cream and there's an argan oil that I already use that they said I can keep using for that, too. Okay, so what I got, I just got these two because like I said, balling on a budget right now. So I got the face wash and the exfoliator or the tonic. What is this? It's a toner. <laughs> toner. I got both of those. They threw in an eye cream. I didn't get this guy because I was like, he's too expensive for right now. But here he is. <laughs> that just warmed my heart so much. Oh. Yeah, no, I love Holiday. And they're like a small team themselves, and I just feel like they really are caring for us. That eye cream really like hit me in some corner of my heart. I don't know which corner, but it was some corner. I'm about, oh, I do have to leave. I do have to leave. Talk to you later. Okay, even though I got the new camera, I feel like the rest of this video just has to maintain the same vibes that we started with. And I also... I don't know, I feel like I haven't been able to grab a hold of myself enough to really start working that new camera. But the last vlog was really good, which is probably why I keep talking about it. So maybe the next vlog will be really good too, once I like actually get the chance to film with my camera and everything, you know? But it is Sunday and I am just now leaving work. Oh, I forgot that I'm doing this unedited. So that look was me seeing somebody walking behind my car and me like not a kid right no it's not obviously but i am nosy huh okay sunday was at work just finished very exhausted very hard to get out of bed this morning i babysat last night i did i mention that i was babysitting i know i like left in a hustle because i was like oh i gotta go it's because i was babysitting babysat last night was there until probably like 10 15 or so so got home maybe like 10 30 or so and then tried to get to sleep as soon as I could after that but then I woke up this morning naturally at 6 15 and sorry I'll stop being nosy <laughs> woke up naturally at 6 15 and then have been here so definitely going to rest tonight I'm so perplexed by all this. Sorry. <laughs> I can't, I'm going to have to edit. <laughs> Make a couple of these pauses a little bit shorter. I just keep getting distracted. Rest tonight. Today at work, I had quite a bit to do, but it's because I have in-service training Monday and Tuesday of this week, which is virtual from home, which I'm really excited for. Like, it'll be very fun to stay home, I feel like. But also that means that I'm not coming back in until Thursday. So there was a couple things I needed to just do before then, kind of make sure all my paperwork was up to date, had to plan for our meeting on Thursday since I'm not going to have the chance to like plan before Thursday comes. And there's a couple clients to present on Thursday. So it was a lot of prep work, also a lot of chill, overall good vibes. Saw, made sure to see all my kids. I try to see them every time that I come in just to you know, check the vibes, but clinically, the clinical vibes. And the rest of today, what's up with the rest of today? Oh, I'm teaching tonight, my tutoring. And this is the beginning of the last week of heck month for tutoring. 
I've mentioned it so many times how August is heck month for tutoring because I accidentally signed up to teach an intensive course, which met three times a week. And I'd already been teaching a one time a week class, meaning I was teaching four nights out of every week, sometimes three hours, sometimes four hours, meaning that some of my days have been 12 hour work days between jail and then tutoring. And it just hmm, wasn't as good, but the paychecks should be good. That's part of the reason that I was able to swallow my lens cost, though I still wish I wouldn't have had to, but the paychecks will be nice. It just, it's been a heck of a month. So I'm very excited. Obviously like sitting here on Monday, it is a little stressful looking forward into the week and being like, oh, four nights out of this week, I will be teaching again. But I just keep trying to remind myself that I've done it before the four nights in a week. This is the last time that I'll have to do it. This is the last Sunday that I'll be teaching for a while at least <laughs> definitely to give myself a little break from that after this it just is like sitting on this side of it it's always more stressful I feel like than once I get to the end of the week but the end of the week will come it always does and I'll make it theoretically um I think that's all I have for you right now but I will definitely catch up again maybe with my fancy lens, maybe with my front camera again. So we'll just, we'll just see. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did have a kid that told me that he really just didn't care <laughs> about being in his room by himself. He said he kind of prefers that. I was like, well, that's good. That's a, that's a strength then for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, you need to press go on your smoothie. I'm still putting the fruit and stuff in, but it'll okay, be pretty. Okay, so you want your mouth watering and like you just feel like you can't say goodbye to me. I am vlogging the smoothie making though. I was going to cut the sound out, but would you like to say anything for the vlog? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any updates for the people? Check out this wide angle lens in the kitchen though. Come here. Come here before it dies. It's really blinking fast. Check out this wide angle lens in the kitchen. Dude. I can barely see it. Look, I'm we can't even touch and he's in the frame. Oh as long God. as he doesn't put his arm out too. Put your arm out for perspective. Well, now he's still in the frame. Honestly, kinda. That's too... Honestly, kinda. That's an arm... That's crazy. I'm gonna have to adjust the audio <laughs> to turn it down or else RIP headphone users. Anyways. Smoothie time. Smoothie time with the smoothie, girlies. Smoothie time with the girlies. Um, we have apple juice, a oh frozen gosh. berry mix. Sounds scrumptious. Spinach and hemp seeds and chia seeds. Look at all those micronutrients. Oh my goodness. Are there a lot? So many. Antioxidants too. Had to change the battery pack, but we're back. Zach said, I forgot what you said. What did you say whenever it died? No, about Vlogmas. Oh, R.I.P. Vlogmas. Zach said R.I.P. Vlogmas, as if it's not August 21st. Should I do Vlogmas this year? I was just saying I wasn't, but I could be swayed. I could be swayed. No, I don't think anyone wants to see it. I could be swayed. <laughs> okay, let's switch to the smoothie view. With the sound of, what is that? An ATV? on the video game in the background. This is unedited vlog, Zach, just so you know. Except for the smoothie part, so that we don't RIP headphone users twice in 30 seconds. Delicious. And then I also have my dark chocolate covered frozen strawberry pieces that I got from Trader Joe's. I that I haven't had any of yet, but we have some left over. I'm glad you liked them though. They're, they're so good. They're so good. And I feel like they're easier to eat than the dark chocolate covered bananas that we'd gotten before. Oh yeah. Cause that like injured me. Trying to eat a dark chocolate covered banana. It injured me. Um, so I'm gonna drink my smoothie. And then we'll catch up again later. I'm going to try out this protein powder that I opened yesterday, the iced coffee one, with 60 milligrams of caffeine, because I do teach until 10 tonight, so I might need to start getting that caffeine push towards the end of it. Just a little almond milk. I have Orgain links. 
Links down below, of course. Oh gosh, what I don't like though is whenever you open a new protein and its scoop isn't just immediately right there. Because now we're on a scoop hunt. Do you see it? the serving size for this one's going to be two scoops as well that's something i didn't actually realize about the chocolate one until a while when i was using it was that the serving size is two scoops it's a two scooper instead of a one scooper proteiny like it's not like I, oh I'm just drinking iced coffee I can't even tell it's protein like no it is proteiny especially because the texture obviously is very different than coffee would be too but it does have that good coffee and almond milk taste which I'm a fan of okay big gloves for that and then we'll try chocolate peanut butter probably in a while because I still have the actual chocolate one left over and then it's open this one so we'll see whenever I need to try that one you want to watch me water my plants look how much it's grown isn't that cute small is that better i don't know the kids are doing a drill right now so i have about 25 minutes left that i'm just kind of sitting here while they're doing some sat stuff and then after they're done we'll talk about it and then i have an office hour that lasts from 9 until 10 p.m and then after that i'm going to do my new skincare remember from Haldi, you're going to keep hearing me talk about them because i just think okay this like ties into the whole social work part of me, but I think any company that does something that removes barriers from people who are trying to achieve goals is like a company that I want to back all the way. And so that is why I got so excited about Holly because it's like, even myself, I had on my like long-term to-do list, like research skincare and find what ingredients are good for me and what's bad for me and everything like that. And you can find so many different articles that have so many different things and then just get super overwhelming or I can take a little quiz and have experts who have already done all of that and spend their lives doing all of that be like, this is what's good for you. Oh, just, I love it. I signed Zach up for it today too. So like I said, it's probably gonna be a while before I shut up about it. But this is the last Sunday, like I mentioned earlier, that I'll be teaching. And I'm pretty sure it's the only night this week that I go till 10. Let me check that before I say that for sure. It is. Every other night this week is until 9, which is a lot easier than 10. But I do believe that I'm going to wake up early tomorrow and go work out. Because as you know, like I got into my evening workout routine and I was really liking that. But then I was forced to switch into a morning workout routine due to teaching at night. And then the feeling of just having evenings free has really gotten to me. And so I think I'm going to work out. And also Zach works out in the morning. So then it's fun because we get to go together. So there's just a lot leading into it. But... I'm going to go to bed late tonight and then wake up early tomorrow morning. I do plan on starting a new little like 
fun in service at home day in the life vlog because honestly that's going to be the closest that you'll ever see me actually working since you know usually whenever I'm in jail there's obviously no kind of communication device in there no phone no camera none of that but since this is tr virtual training obviously can't like still show stuff but it'll be the most like in real time that you'll get and then also I do plan on tomorrow trying to like actually work this new camera, see how everything looks good, see what's going on with all of that. And so the unedited vlog vibes, unedited vibes, I don't know. If you like them, good. I'm glad you enjoyed this video. If you prefer me <laughs> not in my natural form, <laughs> don't worry because that's coming up. But, oh, see, I already forgot that I was unedited. But I'm very glad that you watched this video. I hope that you are successful in all that you are taking on right now, all of your endeavors. And as always, remember to find small reasons to smile every single day. And I'll see you next time in much better, in much better quality. Not, not through the camera, because this is as good as we're going to get for now. But I mean myself much better. See you next time.